If you want an affordable housing option that will cause nothing but smack in your family, you're probably gonna wanna talk about manufactured homes. When it comes to manufactured homes, there's things I absolutely love about them, but I'm gonna be honest with you. There's some things I really hate. If you're considering this for your next home purchase, there's gonna be some things you need to consider. So we're just gonna get into it. So let's talk about the things I really hate about manufactured homes. A lot of real estate agents reach out to me all the time and ask me why is it that I talk about manufactured homes all the time? Because usually in their area, they don't actually sell manufactured homes because they happen to be in a park. When it comes to buying a brand new one from the lot itself, real estate agents can't help you. So you're on your own when it comes to this. In most states, real estate agents cannot represent buyers and sellers of manufactured homes. Now, some states do allow for this if it's in a park, but in most states, unless it's attached to a land with title work, there's no way you're gonna be able to get represented by a real estate agent. To me, this is unfair because a lot of people don't understand the process when it comes to buying and selling a home. And they wanna make sure they're getting, if you're a buyer, the best deal that you could possibly get for a house. And if you're a seller, you wanna make sure that that paperwork is done right and the title transfer is done correctly. Also, if you're a buyer, you wanna make sure there's no tax liens on that specific property. These are all the things that a real estate agent does prior to the purchase of the house itself. So just by having that extra entity involved, it could really protect buyers and sellers to make sure that they have gotten themselves a great deal on a house and they're protected correctly. And when the sale goes through, that everything's done correctly as well. Representation is important, especially if you don't understand the sales part of it. But really, really, really look over that contract. And if they're telling you you can't take the contract with you in order for you to look it over, that's a giant red flag. You definitely want to have somebody look that over, especially if you don't understand it. And if you have like a lawyer friend in the area to kind of go over that with you, that would be really beneficial for you. Salespeople are doing one thing. They're trying to sell you something. And if they can pull the wool over your eyes, you know they're just going to do that. And I really hate that about them. All right, this is another thing I really hate about manufactured homes. It's of the people at the sales office. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not all salespeople, but a good portion of them are doing one thing. They're trying to sell you a home. Even if they don't have all the information they need on that home, it's like they make it up out of thin air. And it always seems like they're trying to push you into their finance office. That drives me insane. And then they'll tell you certain things about the house. And then you get the house and you're like, I thought it was supposed to have these certain things to it. That's what you told me, but it wasn't in writing. Just whenever you're working with these people, write down everything they say. If you can, record them saying it. And that way, when you get the contract to sign for a manufactured home, make sure everything that you asked for and everything that they said with the manufacturer manufactured home is in that specific contract. And don't let them say, well, oh, it doesn't matter. Just go ahead and sign and we'll make sure it's in there. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not allow them to do that. I think another thing that stinks about manufactured homes is sometimes you can have a hard time finding homeowners insurance. Not all home insurance companies cover manufactured homes. And sometimes you can have to be shopping quite some time before you get one. You're going to have an easier time finding home insurance for manufactured homes if they're attached to a piece of land that you own and it's all tied in together with one title than if you were living in a park where you're renting this space underneath it. It's just something you consider if you're thinking about buying a manufactured home and putting it at a park. And when you're doing your manufactured home too, the another thing I don't really care for is the fact that if you are renting the space underneath it, your insurance can vary in price exponentially. I mean, sometimes that price can be as little as a thousand dollars worth the contents and everything inside. But sometimes you go to another agent and it's like four thousand dollars and you're like, what the heck's the difference? It's because they don't want to insure them. I don't know why. It's kind of crazy. So just shop around when it comes to insurance companies there's a lot of difference between the two. And if it's attached to land, meaning that they have a title and the title is it's all in one encompassing property, then if for some reason the insurance seems to be less. I don't know what their ratios are and why they choose to make it more expensive if you live in a park in comparison to having it to a piece of land that you own. That's just the way it is. I'm not an insurance person. You might want to talk to them about that. <laughs> Maybe fight for it, <laughs> you know? Let's say, why are you doing this? I don't know, sometimes I always feel like the deck is stacked against people when they're trying to find the most affordable way to live. It seems like one way or the other are gonna take your money from you. That's what I hate about manufactured homes. And then another thing too, I've said this in several videos, when it comes to the financing part, make sure to walk off of that lot. You can talk to them, don't sign anything, but take your idea for your manufactured home over to your local credit union, over to a local bank, and see if they can do a 
30-year mortgage for you. And you might be able to do it for a lot less money than what the people in that sales office in their finance department can do it for. Manufactured home companies, they love me because I talk about manufactured homes. They hate me because I tell them not to get the financing at their facility. They won't talk to me anymore. But I'm telling you that because I want you to save money. And a lot of them are not necessarily saving you money. I'm not saying all of them. I'm telling you to hear them out. Just listen to what they have to say. Take that documentation with you. Bring it to another lender and see if they can do something better for you. The better educated you are, the better deal you're going to get. And we want to make it as affordable as possible for you. I guarantee if you were to tell any family member of yours that you were thinking about buying a manufactured home, the first words out of their mouth is, why would you buy a piece of junk like that? The stigma against manufactured housing is unbelievably unreal. And don't get me wrong, when you drive around in any area, you can see a lot of manufactured homes that haven't been taken care of. But I will say this, in the last few years, I've come out with some more really nice, more eye-pleasing models, and you really should take a look at them before you decide that like they're a terrible option for you. And I promise you, if you have a piece of land that's worth $100,000, if it had a manufactured home on it, it would be worth more. Yes, but it would still gain value with a manufactured home that's on it that has been taken care of. This house will sell. It's in a great location. I've lived in one. I lived in one years ago. So there's nothing wrong with them. Another thing about that, though, is that a lot of people will say that the building materials when it comes to manufactured homes are not very good. And if that is the case in your brain, I want you to look at the manufactured home if you're buying it brand new and find out what the building materials are. And then I want you to do a side by side comparison to see if it's the same kind of building materials they would with a traditional house. So don't let anybody tell you that not to get a manufactured home because they're pieces of junk. Do your due diligence, do your research, make sure that's in the right area, make sure it does gain value, and work with a real estate agent in that area if you're considering buying a piece of land that doesn't have a manufactured home on it to let you know if you can put one on there first off and how easy it's gonna be able to get utilities out there and all the other things that you need to know. Just something for you to be aware of when you're looking at manufactured homes. Oh, and here's another thing. Finding land for a manufactured home is really difficult. In some states, unlike my state, they make it very easy because you can go onto the MLS and just tick a little check mark and it says for manufactured homes or not for manufactured homes. But in other states, they don't have that. And it takes a long time for the records to be pulled up and titled work to be pulled up to find out if you can put a manufactured home on there. So when people are searching for a piece of property, that process becomes even longer because you have to wait to find out if it even will accept manufactured homes. I'm hoping in the next few years that actually changes. There has been some policies out there floating through the, the federal government that's going to make it a little bit more easier. Who knows? You know, the government says a lot of things and then, you know, they do a lot of this. <laughs> we could hope. We could hope. But that is definitely an issue when it comes to getting a brand new manufactured home and finding a piece of land to put it on. Oh, it can be such a nightmare. Even in areas that already have manufactured home already in it, then they've all of a sudden made some kind of variance that says no more manufactured homes in this specific area, even though they have 20 down the street already. <laughs> brains, geniuses that run the show. <laughs> Like, if there's already manufactured homes down the street, let them have another one. What's the difference? It's a brand new one. It's just sprucing up the place as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> as we go into 2023, we're going to be seeing a lot more regulations being lifted when it comes to manufactured homes in certain areas across the United States. And as more corporations are building build-to-rent type of homes for younger people to live in, I want you to at least educate some of the younger generations that this is an option, an affordable option for them to live in, especially when the rent's going up as high as they are. They may not be the ideal situation for you personally, but at least it gets somebody that is thinking about real estate into the real estate game. Even if you don't think this is the best idea in the whole entire world, a piece of real estate was something that can always make you money. And when you look at manufactured homes, they're usually very cost effective for somebody. And in the future, they could take that manufactured home and turn it into a rental property because they've saved so much money and not paying somebody else's mortgage for them in renting. Even though you may not love it, it could be a perfect option for a younger person trying to start their first real estate transaction. So don't poop on it immediately, especially if it can turn into an income producing property later down in life. I mean, that's actually pretty smart real estate in my opinion. The first house I ever rented when I first moved out on my own was a manufactured home. I honestly had no idea. If you haven't taken a look at the most recent updated manufactured homes, I think it would surprise you. You can see why so many people are choosing this option. But if there's still some things you hate about manufactured homes and I didn't mention them in this video, let me know what they are in the comments section below. To watch more videos about manufactured homes and manufactured home education, you're going to watch these videos right here. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer, and I tell you all this because good real estate information matters.